Welcome back to another book review. Today we're looking at a catalog. This is the Eckler and Koch Weapons System catalog. You can see here different logos and titles as well. Here we can see HK Defense, HK, and then Eckler and Koch Military and Law Enforcement Products. So we take a little closer look here, a little bit of damage on the edges this is rather old um you can see stock photography of some action sequences there and some contact info at the bottom so this is a older catalog so feel free to research current product offerings contact info for hk and the various other uh, uh brands within hk uh this catalog, I believe, is from the 2004 time frame based on certain items listed as new, as well as some of the text that provides some clues as to the date of this catalog. But there is no actual specific dated uh, portion of this catalog that makes it easy to identify. So if anybody knows for sure, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Um, let's flip over to the other side of the cover here. We can see here some paragraphs on Heckler & Koch defense, law enforcement and sales, military inquiries, HK warranty, HK international training division, and firearm safety. And again, some contact info. Let's take a look on the inside here. We start right off with the P2000 pistols. And then they list various items as new, and that was uh, sort of my starting point to help date this catalog, was trying to correlate when these items were actually released into production and were available for sales. And since there were time differences between European and German releases versus American releases, that contributed to the difficulty in dating this catalog but uh, some of these new items did help in narrowing down the time frame so continuing on this side you can see the p2000k subcompact let me see if i can take off some of this glare here it's much better continuing here usp compact pistols you can see um, the style of this catalog is uh, stock photography of the items, a little bit of data tables, feature captions to certain uh, highlighted features, and then descriptive paragraphs. Then they focus on uh, specifically new systems that need highlighting. Continuing with HK USP pistols, and you can see the variety here on this side. On this side, we have the HK P7 pistols. Continuing, we have the Mark 23 and the USP Tactical. You can see more new highlighted items as well. Continuing with the USP Expert and USP Elite. On this page we have HK MP5 submachine guns. And then we have various trigger groups. And on this side, we continue with various configurations. Continuing. You can see there's quite a few variations. And then also into the UMP 
submachine guns. You can see here more new highlighted items as well. And then this item helped date the catalog to around the 2003-2004 time frame. More likely 2004 because of uh, time to uh, release. So this is the MP7A1 personal defense weapon. Quite a bit of descriptive paragraphs here. a little bit on the ballistics and ammunition types. A little bit of size comparison, accessories, more sample photography there. Here we have the HKG-36 weapon system. Bunch of accessories, various configurations, feature highlights. Let's see if I get this lamp out of the way here. Trigger groups. Continuing with rifles and carbines. A little bit on the magazine used for the M4 M16 type of platforms, and then you can see here various uh, items. I believe there are more, but they're not being shown here. So here we at the top we have a HK 53A3 PSG one. And the MSG 90A1. Continuing with HK Special Application Products. Um, let's start off up here. You can see here the HK 69A1, kind of a standalone grenade launcher. Here we have the HK-21E, this is GPMG, limited availability, special order only. New, this is also, uh, this item helped date the catalog. This is a MG4 slash MG43 light machine gun. To on this side, new the AGC forty millimeter. Below that is the AGC slash EGLM. That's a standalone version. And back to this side, we have the Fabarb tactical semi-automatic shotgun, and then the pump action. And this also helped date the catalog as well. This is the GMG. Uh, this actually has been in development in uh, starting in the 90s and was released uh, in Europe, but then eventually uh, became uh, present in American service as well. And here you can see uh, this paragraph here helps date the catalog as well, mentioning both Afghanistan and Iraq. various uh, applications of this item, not just uh, ground mounted, but uh, can be vehicle mounted as well. But you can see quite a bit of highlighting on the feature set. As this was up for uh, platform replacement 
of, uh, I believe, the Mark 17. So quite a bit of information there. And then we get to accessories. So depending on your type of platform, you have pistol accessories, roller locked rifle accessories, let's start up here, cleaning kits, accessories for special application products, and in this corner, MP5 submachine gun accessories. Getting near the end here, we have specification tables for the various items listed in this catalog. So down this column, we have the items themselves and across the top caliber, cyclic rate of fire, magazine capacity, modes of fire, sights, stocks, width in inches, height in inches, weight in pounds without magazine, sight radius, barrel length in inches, and overall length in inches with a footnotes there and continuing on the other side as well so we'll do a pan down here and we have some machine guns now on this side personal defense weapon the mp7a1 rifles and carbines roller lock system machine guns grenade launchers shotguns the footnotes and a glossary as well. Your modes of fire, your sights, butt stock configurations, and of course specifications and model availability subject to change without notice, as with most catalogs. So again, looking at I believe the 2004 version of the Heckler and Koch Weapons System catalog. Feel free to research current product offerings and contact info for HK. This has been another book review. Feel free to check out other book review media reviews on the channel. We also do unboxing videos as well as show and tell videos on vintage, no SERP tools and expanded topics. And we also do a series called Curios for the Curious, videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.